Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and we have been talking about applying basic filters to your dataset and in the previous video we have learned how we can apply basic filters in multiple ways and how we can filter data in five different ways using the options available in Microsoft Excel. Today I am going to share with you some very important tips that will help you in accurately filtering your data and ensuring that there are no mistakes in the filtered data. So these are seven different tips for all the Excel lovers and all those who want to apply basic filters accurately. So let us start. I am Salim Heather from SHK Excel World and here's the first tip. Please make sure that each column in your data should have a column heading and why I am saying this let us apply a filter by clicking Control Shift L. You can see that the filters are applied to the first row in your data set which means that the filter automatically assumes that your data has headers and once you apply a filter to a data the filter retains the heading and only applies a filter to the data below the heading. So what if we do not have a heading and now let me apply the filter by clicking Control Shift L and I am going to select USA. So in this way you can see that our filtered data is not accurate because there was no column heading. So in spite of the fact that we were filtering USA we also got UK because this was assumed to be the heading of this data set. So this is your first important tip. So here's the second tip. Let me insert some blank rows. So I have inserted two blank rows and let me insert a blank column. So now that I am going to apply a filter, I have selected a cell within the first box or within the first set of data after which I have uh, blank column and blank rows. Control Shift L for applying the filter and you can see that Excel has not selected my complete data set. The only reason was that there was a blank column in between the different columns and for example we do not have Germany in the first set of data but we have that in the remaining data. So as per my presumption the filter should have picked all the data but once you click the drop down, you can see that there is no Germany here. So ultimately what has happened is that Excel filter has only picked the data which was available without any blank rows or blank column. Or we can say that it has picked a data which was in symmetry. So the second tip is that make sure your data does not have any blank rows or blank columns. And if by chance your data has blank rows and co columns, First remove those and if I do not want to remove the blank rows and columns, I will have to manually select the complete data and apply the filter by clicking Control Shift L. So now the country should contain Germany and some blank rows as well. So this was the second tip. So now is the third tip. Let me put the data back to the original condition without any spaces. Apply the filter again. We talked about the search box in our previous video. There is an additional trick available that you can use a steric mark if you do not know the complete text you want to search. For example, these are the products and I know that my product contains Anton but I do not know the complete name of the product and I am also not sure whether there is something at the start or at the end of Anton. So I can use a steric mark and write Anton and also use another steric mark and press OK. Every item that contained Anton whether as a starting point or in between the complete string of text it has been filtered. I can clear the filter and try another thing. So if I filter new, so I can see that there are different items which contains new. But what if I only want to filter an item that has new at the start and nothing before that. 
So I can go to the search box and type new and write a static after that and press OK. So in this way, anything which started with new and has something afterwards is being filtered and the rest has been filtered out. So the next tip is if you are filtering a data during a presentation and you want to give the total of the filtered column. So what you can do is insert a row above your data, write a sum formula and select the complete range of values and press enter. Now if you filter a specific country, for example Canada, the answer should have been 83742 but this sum is not affected by the filter. So unfilter this and what we can do is we can write the formula for subtotal instead of using the sum formula and there is a list of formulas given for subtotal we need to choose 9 for sum and then we can give the range of complete numbers and bracket close and enter now we are going to filter Canada and see what the results are so you can see that the results have been filtered on the basis of the filtered set of data so the next tip is if you want to avoid the inaccuracy of your filters because of blank rows and blank columns and also you want to avoid the writing of complex formulas like subtotal etc what you can do is you can convert your data set into a table format before that i'm going to insert a blank column and some blank rows in between and now I am going to select my complete data and apply the table format control T which is a shortcut key and yes my table has headers and press OK so it has automatically given a column name to the blank column and you can see that the filters are automatically applied uh, we can check or uncheck from the table designs menu and in the table format there is an option of total row you can click in your table and you can see the design ribbon above in your menu and just check the total row and this is a total row now if i want to filter the country and i'm going to click canada and press ok so i do not need to use this formula and there is no problem of the filter missing out on the data which was after the blank rows. So everything has been sorted out by the help of the table which is the excel table. And for other quantities I can apply the formulas I want and I do not need to write the complete text of the formulas. So that headache has been catered by excel itself. So maximum, what is the maximum unit price? maybe the minimum date or the starting date when the order was taken let us see any other country singapore and the results have automatically changed and the last tip is that you can apply the filters in the logical sequence to get your results for example so if you want to filter your data based on the sales revenue for example i want to have the sales revenue which is greater than thirty thousand but I do not want to see a specific item which is not dependent on the value. So let us assume that I do not want to see the dairy product in France for this specific order only and I can highlight this and with the help of the filter in any column I can choose no fill from filter by color. So the normal filters wouldn't have worked because the sales revenue was good enough to be chosen and there was another dairy product which I wanted to have in my final data and rest of the data was also same so I choose coloring for filtering out my data and in this way I have logically sequenced my filtering to get my required results. So these are 7 tips for very accurate and precise filtering of your data which will help you a lot. So today we have covered 7 tips starting from that your data should have headers there shouldn't be any blank rows or columns or if there are you should have selected your data manually before applying the filters 
you can use steric in the search box for filtering out specific items you can use subtotals to know the results of the filtered data and sixth you can convert your data into a proper table format and use the total row for calculating the results of your filtered data and seventh you can logically filter out your data to get the required results do provide your feedback and comments if you like this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel shk excel world thanks for watching goodbye